Hey, this is Chris from Cinti Studios. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to set a custom pivot point for one of the models using Blender. So if we take a look at the current pivot point of the watering can from the Polygon Gang Warfare pack, you can see it's currently set to the bottom of the watering can. And if we have a look at the center point, it's as you'd expect in the center of the watering can. So on the off chance that you wanted somewhere like the handle of the watering can to be the pivot point, then I'm going to show you how to achieve that. And of course, this same principle will apply to any of the assets. So to get this into Blender, if we want to locate where our model is, the easiest way to do this is to show an explorer. And then we'll copy the location of where our model folder is. And then jumping into Blender, if we hit File, Import, FBX. And then we paste in our location here, as I've done earlier. And then we search for our watering can. And then we'll import the FBX. Now we've got our viewport shading here turned on and we don't have our texture applied. We probably don't really need it as we're just doing the pivot point, but we'll bring it in anyway. So if we head to shading and with our model selected, this is where we'll apply our texture. So if we hit the open icon and same as before, if we paste in the location of where our model was, just up one directory into textures and we'll just apply the basic Polygon Gang Warfare Texture 01A. And that's it, the texture's applied. So back to modeling. Now you can swap between object mode and edit mode by hitting tab on your keyboard and you can see it changes up here. So the main goal here that we want to do is setting our 3D cursor to where we want our pivot point to be. So we'll just run through the 3D cursor first. So selecting our watering can and hitting tab on the keyboard will take us into edit mode. And with the vertex mode selected, if we were to hit a single vertex and then shift and S on our keyboard and selecting cursor to selected, you can see we move our 3D cursor. So the same thing applies if we were to do an edge. Selecting a single edge, Shift S, cursor to selected. You can see it'll go to the middle of that edge. And if we're to look at multiple edges, so if we hit this one and this one, Shift S, cursor to selected, you can see it'll then offset into roughly the center of the two edges. Same thing also applies to the face select mode. So if we wanted it in the middle of say these three faces and then hitting shift and S on the keyboard again, cursor to selected, you can see it's nicely centered to those three faces. So using those same principle there, if we go into edge mode, we select everything and then holding shift to select the edges that we want. Make sure we have them all selected and then shift S on our keyboard, cursor to selected. You can see it's nice and centric inside the handle. If we wanted the 3D cursor to be on the inside of the handle, and we would simply just select these two here, and Shift S, cursor to selected. And then you can see our 3D cursor has moved onto the inside of the handle. That's basically the way you move your 3D cursor exactly where you want it to be. So once you're happy with the location, we hit Tab on our keyboard to get out of edit mode, back into object mode. Then we go to Object, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. And that is now our new pivot point for the watering can. Then if we go to File, Export, FBX, and back into the same folder as I'm going to override the existing model that I had, and Export. And with this particular model, when we come back into Unity, you can see now that the pivot point's been reset, it might move our model around. So if we just bring it back up. Same thing with our Mesh Collider. So in this case, I'll just remove the Mesh Collider and reapply it. And that's fixed up. So again, that principle can be used with any of the models. Hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our new videos, or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.